Hey guys, so today we ended up getting a pretty hard reversal there towards the end of the day. So let's take a look at where we're at. So on a daily time frame, we did get a new demand right there at 425.79. The biggest thing to take away from today is this massive candle right here. This massive wick off of the 20 or 200 EMA right here is most likely our temporary bottom. Now I say that, but we are in extreme bear momentum. So likely any retest is going to be the AEMA and that should be right around this double demand area of 429.8 to 430.3. If we move up higher, that is where I'm going to target. Now you can see this blue line. I've showed you this quite a few times now. This is the year long daily bull channel support line that has officially been broken. Um, going over to futures here, same thing. So we came down, we took out our su two supplies that were left right here. And now we actually got a new daily demand off this double bottom. And this is going to be a really nice potential morning doji star pattern. So basically what we should look for is movement to the upside. So I'm going to be looking for a retest of 43.62 and our 8 EMA should be pretty close to that area. We also hard bounced off the 200 EMA with a massive wick here. So you can see though our short term bear channel, our, our support is actually broken. So this is going to be interesting to see if we kind of maybe settle out with, um, you know, we could potentially look at this right here as our potential bear channel. It's pretty steep. But it's very possible this could be our bear channel. You know, we could pull something off these supports here too for a little bit lower. But as of right now, uh, we are definitely in a bear channel and a bear trend uh, on futures and spot. Now, going over to the queues here, same thing. We have the massive wick. We did go ahead and get a new daily demand right down there at 354.14 now again on cues we are a little more bullish and honestly today the cues did not really participate in the sell-off um now right before the massive reversal we had around like two o'clock um the cues what or the tech in general was starting to look pretty weak and we have meta and a few others starting to look very heavy however for the most part today, uh, a lot of tech did not join in on the sell-off. So right now, our upside target is going to be 357.8. That's the retest of this 100 EMA resistance. And we are still in extreme bear momentum on the queues also. So our target should be our 8 EMA, which is going to be right around that 357.8 area. Now, when we go over to the VIX here, we got our demand yesterday. We actually put in a new supply right there today at 18.96. Now, again, this looks like to me a massive cup and handle forming here. I think the most important thing that I've noted though is that until we close over 19.56 supply, we likely will not see the next leg down. At this point, that is gonna be likely when we break through the daily uh, 200 EMA support. Now, tomorrow at this point with this massive doji and the massive doji on SPY, Qs, and Futures, likely we will see that relief bounce tomorrow. But Friday is the JPM collar roller roll day, which is the quarterly op option expiration. I actually expect a pretty volatile and a big day of movement. I'm looking personally for a really big downside move and likely a big gap down too overnight. It'll be interesting to see how the rest of this week plays out though. Hope you guys had a good day trading today and I will see you guys tomorrow.